I first came home, I was in a constant state of fear and anxiety and guilt and shame. I felt completely alone, completely disconnected. I felt like I didn't know how to be normal again. I was having nightmares and not sleeping. I couldn't go certain places without being reminded of it. I had deployed my daughter was fresh out of the NICU and when I came home, she was walking. I walked in the door to a wife that I left alone for an entire year with a newborn. Two months after I got home, my wife told me that she wanted a divorce, that I wasn't the man that she married anymore. That night, I tried to take my life. I spent the next week in the hospital, and when I came home, the house was empty. I had a 45 in my mouth, and I just begged God for some kind of sign, some kind of answer. I got a voice message from a friend that I hadn't talked to in years. And I reluctantly opened it. And the first thing she said was, hey, I feel like the Lord laid you on my heart and wants me to pray for you. And she began to pray and she said, you know, I don't know what you're going through, but the Lord didn't put you on my heart by mistake. You're welcome to come to Southeast LaGrange with, with me and my family. And there's some great men there that I'd like to introduce you to. I decided to show up one night. It took weeks for me to gain trust in this church community and this church family. I decided to get serious about my faith and my relationship with Jesus. I went to the membership class as fast as I could and signed up to be a member at the church. and. I don't think I missed a Thursday or Sunday for the first year and a half. I made sure I was at every single one just because I didn't want to miss a word of what God was doing there. I'll never forget there was a Sunday we did a sermon. They had metal trash cans up front and everybody got a rock when you came in and I thought it was the weirdest thing. We get to the point in the sermon where they want that rock to represent everything that we're holding on to in that trash can to represent Jesus who we're giving it to. And I let go of that rock and everything just felt like it was gone in an instant. Dropping that rock into that trash can, it was like rebaptizing myself and giving my life to Christ and letting go of everything up until that point. I have a whole new way of looking at life. Everything's an opportunity to serve. Everything is a reason to live. I get to worship with my daughter on Sundays. I get to lead a church and worship. The congregation is so amazing. I have a sense of peace that's just a sense of calmness. Everything's quiet again. The peace of God is like a, a blanket that just covers every anxious thought, every bit of shame and guilt, and it takes care of everything that I try to take care of on my own. Finding that peace with God has changed the way that I look at daily life. It's changed how I parent my child. It's changed how I live. Every interaction I have with everybody, I look at it completely differently. And I know if it can do this for me, that it can do this for you.